Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Let me just start by sharing my screen, my slides. Uh, so can you guys see my screen? Okay, great. So uh, we're gonna have some session about Python environment, how to set it up, how to download it and set up. Uh, we're gonna have interactions about GitHub and Git and uh, continuous integration and continuous uh, deployment. So uh, since I'm going to be presenting, I'm not uh, going to be able to see comments. So if you have any questions whatsoever, just make sure to raise your hand or just open your mic and speak. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with uh, Python environment setup. So we're going to start with set, set, setting up our Python uh, by downloading Python and setting it up on our ma machine. So uh, to install Python, <coughs> uh, the first is for Linux users, specifically for Ubuntu users. So if your Ubuntu is uh, earlier than uh, I think 23 or 22, you have to use all these commands. Oh, sorry. But if it's later than, uh, or or if it's the latest, which is 24, you can just sudo apt uh, git update and install the Python and make sure to specify the version you want. I think the current stable version is uh, 3.12. So just ma ma make sure to, uh, use that, uh, and if you just want to use the latest one, you can just say Python. And this one, the last line, is going to uh, just show you minus V, if you add Python 3 minus V, it will show you the version. So you can just uh, make sure that you have installed it correctly by that way. And if you are using uh, Python on, or your operating system is on Windows. Uh, Python actually has a setup uh, application for that. So just go to the this link and it will show you, um, it will show you uh, the step by step. You will uh, just download the version you want and it will show you step by step guide on how to install it on your machine and the same goes for mac os uh, so uh, any questions so far uh, or am i going a bit fast or slow uh, okay i'm going to take it as a yes it's clear okay okay so setting up the path so, so we want uh, our machine or our machine to find the Python that we just uh, we have just installed on our machine. So you have to set up the path. So our operating system maintain a search path by listing directories where they are uh, executed, uh, they reside. Uh, so this, this makes it easy to access regardless of their location. So where you store your environment uh, variable is going to be crucial. So we have to uh, show where we have installed it, right? So uh, we have actually uh, written the code. We have provided the code that you can use to set up this path. So just if you are using Linux uh, or shell, this is a shell code just type, just copy and paste this code in your machine and it will uh, set up the path. And if you are using Windows, uh, ma make sure that uh, change this C slash Python in, uh, with uh, the exact path that you have installed Python on and just copy and paste it and it will uh, set up the path. Okay, so moving on to our next uh, 
topic, which is setting up Python virtual environment. So watch what's a, a, a virtual environment. So a virtual environment, you can think of it as a workspace or uh, something that's disposable, and you can use uh, one environment for one project. So we want uh, to specify uh, virtual environments for every uh, project that we do, so that it will not uh, collide with one another, and it's safe you can consider it as a safe space for you to work on your project. So uh, it contains specific Python interpreters and libraries and binaries which are need needed to support the project. So it can be specific for every project. So uh, the conventional naming is usually VNV or .VNV, but you can name your environment anything you want. So how to create a Python environment? Uh, so depending on your um, operating system, we have provided the, uh, the code that you can use. So if you are using uh, Windows, uh, in the command prompt, uh, prompt, you can use this code, uh, MD, make direct directory slash Python app. So this is, the directory that we are provide uh, just for example sake right or if you are using shell or linux you can say make a dear or directory python app so the, again this is just for example and cd means change directory to this uh, folder and Python 3 minus VMV, uh, my VMV. So this my VMV is the name of your environment, the new environment. So you can change this to VMV.inf or anything you want. Just make, make sure to remember it. So when you type this and uh, click enter, it will create a virtual environment on that folder. So you will find a for this case, for this example, you would find a Python environment called my VMV in the Python app folder. So it will be a folder called my VMV. So after after uh, setting up your environment, you need to activate it to use it. So write the name of the environment you just created in this case, which is my VMV slash scripts slash activate for Windows or command prompt. Uh, so promote. So for Linux or share, you can use just add source my VMV bin slash activate. So uh, if it's done correctly, you will see in bracket your uh, set up already uh, um, Python environment name, virtual environment name in bracket. So after you are done with that environment, you can deactivate it. So for Windows, you can use deactivate dog bots and for bash or uh, for linux you can just write deactivate and press enter um so so far are there any questions i think mo most of these uh, are you know you already know about them so but if there are any questions uh, make sure to stop me so this is actually another option for those who want to use Anacoda to set up their Python environments. So if you want to use Anacoda, make sure to uh, go to anacoda.com and install, uh, or de depending on your operating system, you can install for uh, Windows or Linux. Then, uh, after installing it, make sure, uh, just to make sure that you have installed it correctly, uh, just type coda, uh, conda minus v, or which means version, and it will show you the version of the conda that you have installed. And after updating the coda, if you want to update it, you can update it. After that, to, need to set up your virtual environment, just type conda create minus n then here you can insert your virtual environment name uh, this flexible as i have told you and if you want 
uh, to work on with a specific Python version, you can just say Python equals x dot x, which means just the Python version. You can say 3.12 or 11. Uh, yeah. So then activate. To activate it, you just have to say conda activate. Then you write your uh, environment name. Then you can just go on and install the package or the libraries that you want to use by following this um, <clears throat> by this com command. Just conda install minus n the name of your environment, then the name of the library or the package. After you are done with it, you can just deactivate the conda by using this command. So uh, I think uh, since you have already worked, uh, most of you already work with this, uh, you know what GitHub and Git is. So Git is a distributed uh, BCS, which is version, version control system that's used to track your, any change that's made on your code over time. And it, it, all, it also allows uh, multiple developers to work on the same project uh, at the same time without any conflict. So it's a very useful tool that developers and coders all, all around the world use. So GitHub is just a web-based platform that hosts these Git repositories. So some key concepts are uh, repos uh, or repositories that are just like a folder that contains uh, with the version hi history. So it's uh, it can be local or on our machine or it can be remote or on server, which is uh, on a GitHub or other things, other services that host uh, the commands, the codes. Commits are uh, uh, is a snapshot of the change that you made repo on the repo over time. So it just holds the uh, comment or the what it co commit is a unique, a unique identifier of your uh, commit that or it sends the code you pushed on your uh, Git, and it's called a hash. So it's your Unique hash means it's unique and it doesn't duplicate with any other thing. So branch is where where you work separately from the main branch. So branch allow developers to work separately if you, uh, on separate features or bugs fix without affecting the main core, core base. So uh, for this project, I would advise you to create a batch for every task. So for ta task one, create a new batch for task two and uh, so on. This, this way you will not have any conflict with the main branch and you can just merge uh, or combine the change of one branch to the other and to other in a sense to the main branch when you are done with the branch that you are currently working on. So uh, making change, so uh, you can use git stats, status, so just to see uh, the status of the change that you make. So it will show you which uh, things you added and which things are not being tracked by Git. And you can use Git add to add these changes and to Git commit to commit your changes or to just to describe the change you have made to your Git. And finally, finally you will use uh, push. Uh, okay, so CI/CD or continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, or deployment, you can say, is a process that uh, work together. So CI or continuous integration is, ensures frequent integration of code changes, and it will help you uh, catch bugs early uh, before the deployment and cd or continuous deployment or delivery automates the steps to release these changes into different environments uh, so it will re reduce manual works and risk of errors so uh, so just ci means uh, practice of merging ports from the developers to the shared repositories frequently so 
and CD means automating the building, testing, and deployment of code exchange in the different uh, environments. So these are made easier on GitHub. We just uh, go to actions and create your own pipeline in order to build, test, and deploy these codes manually, automatically. So the best practices could be to make small and frequent uh, commits into your Git uh, instead of just uh, using a big chunk of co commit and writing a clear and concise build instructions when you are uh, creating your uh, pipeline from uh, for actions and implement uh, coercive unit integration and secure testing you will not be, i don't think you will uh, be working on this uh, for this project but just it's just uh, not nice to have not, not nice to know and automate the deployment to reduce minor errors and continuously monitor the application so uh, if you want to apply ci cd uh, so just uh, the first thing will be to set up your uh, VCS or version control system like it uh, and choose the type of CI CD tool you want to use. You can use uh, Jenkins, uh, GitHub Actions, or Circle CI. So for GitHub, GitHub Actions is more uh, ideal and easier to, to, to use because it has a simple uh, user interface and just define your pipeline and what you want to do uh, from the GitHub Actions and automate each step uh, of the pipeline and just going from there. So configure the environment for development, staging, and production. So it will be once you set up this CI CD pipeline, it will be automatic. Every time you push to your Git, GitHub Actions or GitHub will automatically uh, put your course through this uh, pipeline and show you the results automatically. So uh, that's it for me. You can have uh, you, you can go through these references if you want uh, further clarification. Uh, and I will also add a couple of more references if needed. But uh, I think it's a short session. But yeah, it's time for you guys to ask questions. OK, let me just go through the uh, uh, comments. So uh, Tariq asked, uh, what is the need for creating virtual environment in Python? So just think of it at this way. So if you have multiple, um, let's say you have one project that needs, that requires uh, to you to use a Python version of 3.10, and the other uh, project requires you to use uh, a Python version of uh, 3.8, let, let's say. So if you only have one environment, in, in that environment, you only have a Python version of let's say 3.8 or 3.10 uh, you will have you will face uh, challenges uh, working with other projects right so just but with python environment you will create a python environment for both projects and for each project you can just uh, add or use the specific packages that you want to use and they will not conflict with each other uh, is that clear, Tariqua? Um, Tariqua, is that clear? Uh, you guys can also open your mic and speak. I think that's a lot better because you can get a lot done that, that way. Okay, uh, let's move on to Naud. Naud, uh, can you? kind of get a quick recap on virtual environment uh i don't i don't i don't understand the specific question uh i think it's better if you ask the specific question where it's not clear uh, that 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 way i can answer it and nadia uh, can you please drop the material you used right now so are you talking about the slides if you are asking for slides yeah 
uh, the slides will, will be available on the uh, drive, the Google Drive, after the session. If you are asking for other uh, materials, make sure to uh, write on the comment. Um, okay, yeah, I'll get on, I will share the slides. Uh, Daniel, uh, which CI CD tools uh, you recommend us? So for me, I uh, usually use uh, GitHub Actions, but you can just look around and choose which one works for you best. Uh, not that much. Okay, Tariko, I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Oh, you didn't, you are saying you didn't understand that much. Okay. Uh, so, uh, usually, uh, when you are working on projects, there will be com conflicts of package, right? So, uh, where uh, one project requires a package uh, that will be in conflict with the others. Like the example I gave you earlier, um, so one project uh, could be uh, you are wor working on one project that only requires you to go uh, as much as 3.8 of Python. And the other one would require you to, to have a Python version of 3.12, right? So if you install only Python version of 3.12, uh, the other project will, will not work, right? And if you only uh, install uh, Python 3.8, the other project will not work. So in order to resolve this conflict, we usually use uh, Python environments. So with Python environments, you only install the package that you, you need for that um, project. And also you can export the type of projects, the type of package you used. I think uh, to your uh, recommendation, the multi, yeah, uh, sorry for your recommendation uh, file that you push to your uh, GitHub or Git. So if it's not still uh, clear, you can still ask on the comment on the chat box. Okay, so Yehun, uh, can you upload this session record as soon as possible? Uh, yeah, it will be uploaded after uh, four hours of the time of completion of the se 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 session. Uh, practical tutorial. Daniel, can you uh, ask for which part you want uh, me to go through practically? Uh, I will be happy to show you. Um, okay, to be specific, how to create. Uh, yeah, now uh, I think it's uh, already in the slides and I will share it. So it's clear, I think, uh, based on which um, the machine you are using, you can just follow the instructions. Okay. Uh, Subalo, would, uh, would there be a study group to share materials and resources to peer to peer? Uh, so yeah, uh, we, uh, you can uh, share materials and uh, work to, together, but we, we will not accept anything that's copy of one another. So you can share, you can talk about the projects uh, in groups, but you have to submit or work on your own project. So uh, you can help uh, you can help one another, but make sure to submit your, your own work. Uh, do we need to create uh, Tariqua, yeah, uh, basically, yeah, it's not a hard project, a hard thing to, to do. Uh, creating the environment is just between second work. So, uh, basically, yeah, that's the ideal thing to do uh, to create a virtual environment. Uh, so, which ID is best for this project? Uh, so uh, we are not going to, uh, you can use whichever uh, the ID is, is uh, comfortable, you are comfortable with. Uh, but if you are asking, I think you are asking also of my personal preference, I would prefer base code. 
Okay, so any more questions uh, or anything you want me to go through? Um, yeah, um, uh, you have to answer your question uh, on the, uh, you can use any environment that you, uh, IDE you want, so IDE, uh, that's the folder structure, uh, you just make sure it's a recommended uh, folder structure, so yeah, if you, if you are using other IDs, you can just follow that do documentary structure. But I would recommend the base code because it's more easier to use. Okay, so is that it? Uh, no more questions for me. Should we on end this call? Okay, give me a thumbs up if everything is clear. Okay, Kirubel, uh, you can't go, or was that a mistake? You, I think you is the only one that got that's clear. Uh, okay, Salam, can you show us what Anacoda uh, looks like? So. Uh, I'm not currently using Anacota, uh, but I don't understand your question. Um, uh, okay, uh, Ali, I think. Um, uh, so, Today's, yeah, uh, you can go through the, do the Italian document and work on what it uh, provides. But if you are done with task one earlier, you, may, may, you can go to the next task. There is no uh, limitation on that one. Um, okay, I I don't have an accord already installed on my machine, but and it will take some time, but. Uh, Anacoda uh, is just like IDE, and you can use a Jupyter no Notebook to work on your project. Uh, so it's not, uh, it does have inter interface, uh, it does have user interface, but mo most of the, the time we use it uh, by using uh, command formats. From Adisu, uh, do you want to speak? And Rafael, is there uh, going to be a practical session? So I think this is the last session for today, but as I've said earlier, if you want me to go through uh, practically what we have done, uh, I can do that. Just ask uh, which part you want me to go through. Okay, uh, I think it, everything is clear. Uh, if so, we can end the call. Or is there any quick question? Let me just one or two minutes. Okay, after go on. Okay, uh, I just have a bit question. Okay. Do we have any assignments that we have to finalize today? Um, let me just okay for today uh, you just have to work on let me so every day there is going to be a submission 
I think you already have been informed, right? Let me just share my screen, I think. Okay, so for today, you are expected to uh, submit the link. Uh, oh, sorry, this is for Thursday. Okay. Um, Oh, okay. I think there is um, a update on the document. So yeah, you only have to submit on Thursday. So there will not be any submission for today. Uh, have to. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Okay, um, I think it's better if I go through the how we can create the virtual environments on base code. Okay, um, so let me just share my whole screen, I think. So, can you see my screen? Okay. So, let me just start by creating a folder that I want to work on. Um, so, I'm using Ubuntu, uh, but you can follow the practically the same step. So, just going to create a new folder. Let's name it test. And in that folder, I'm just going to open this folder using the VS Code. Okay. So I'm already in this folder. So just to create uh, a virtual environment. So I just have to, uh, as I have, I think I already shared. So yeah. So from here, you can just copy and paste this one. On my base code, I'm just going to paste it. And it's going to create an environment, a virtual environment called main. I think you can see it here, right? So it's already created my inf. So after that, I'm just going to activate it using this code. Oh, sorry. Source my BNB bin activate. So yeah, so you can see that it's already activated here because it's uh, it shows in bracket my my VNV because my environment's called uh, my VNV. So yeah, I have created my uh, environment and I can just uh, install packages since I am using Keep 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 install. Let's say uh, pandas. So it's going to install pandas on this environment. Okay. So was that clear? Um, so. Was that clear? Okay. Uh, so uh, is there any more questions or can we end the call here?
Okay, so I'm going to take a so yes, and I'm going to end this call. Okay, uh, timer. Okay. Hello, everyone. My question is, uh, do we have to install this uh, all steps to show at the coming session? Are they necessary? Um, yes. So, uh, for the coming session. For the coming session, you, you, you mean, I think, for week zero, right? Ah. Yeah, so you're, you're going to need Python because you are going to work on Python. And yeah, so basically, basically everything, uh, you have to go through it and install everything that I've show, showed you. But it's not a must. Uh, of course, you need uh, uh, Python, but you can choose to leave the virtual environment and the CI CD, but they are recommended. They are best practices. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, okay. Tariqa, based on your demo, I understand that we need to install all the packages. Um, of course you do. Of course you do. You need to install packages that you want to use because they are not already installed. Uh, okay, um, actually, uh, Python is usually installed uh, on Linux uh, distros. You may not need to install it, but usually the Python that comes with the uh, Linux distros are outdated, outdated, so you may need to update them. But yeah, you need to install the packages every time for everything. But if you uh, don't want to use virtual environments, as I've said earlier, you can just use uh, choose not to use them, but that's not recommended. But the project will work. Yeah, Metaseva, I think. Uh, already answered. Yes, they will be available. Yeah, thank you, Caleb, for the um, explanation. Have a nice day, everyone. Uh, let me just stop the recording.